Oh, hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Sorry I stopped it here, but I was thinking that this is probably going to open up some kind of crazy dialogue and I wanted to make sure that we had time to go through it properly. Man, I'm starting to get a little nervous about what this scenario is implying. So in the last one, we got Bonnie up on the stand and she has just got noise all over her voice. We're trying to get to the bottom of it. We realize now that she has at least two personalities and uh, we're starting to get to it, but I'm worried about this because I don't know, this is kind of opening up some kind of thing where I don't think anything is as it seems. So let's see, we got her down to 50%, but now she's like, you wanna really see who I am? Take a good look. Something tells me this is not gonna go right. So we're still in the mood matrix. Let's see what we can find. Oh, shoot. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, ma'am? Ma'am. <clears throat> um. Okay, she's a zoo bat. <laughs> oh, you're like a Halloween, but like bat rabbit. Listen, I still like it. Is that weird? What the, What in the world? Sheep's clothing? You've got it all wrong. It's a rabbit suit I've got on. Oh, the bunny is the total, it's the, it's the costume and this is the real, is it? I mean, this would still work for a magic show, but maybe this is a little too scary. <laughs> maybe she like scared a bunch of children. I would, I would bet that that happened, actually. <laughs> and I'm not a wolf. I'm a blood-sucking vampire, a bat with fangs and wings. <laughs> I see, okay. Listen, don't you dare, <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time, madam. I ain't scared of no vampires, I'm here for it. What? I, I think we just opened Pandora's box, literally. <laughs> I'm finally done with that goody two-shoes cottontail act. I feel free as a bat. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, listen, I'm not I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying that I don't hate it. <laughs> but you guys know how I do. Oh, Jesus. What, are, what is the whole court going to think of this? Defense, your therapy session has taken a turn for the worse for the looks of it. Listen, it's not my fault she had that all hiding in there. That's what therapy do. It opens up the shit. There's uh, a perfectly good explanation for this, isn't there, Miss Sykes? Uh, <laughs> I, we're both sweating. I don't think there is. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Methinks I created a monster. We blew it. You sure did. Not in a good way either. Ma'am. Hey, you, lobster boy. Oh, uh, me? You think I'm glad Tracy's in trouble? that I think she's getting her just desserts? Yeah, I kind of do. Okay. Well, guess what? You're right. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to voice that. I'm not even sure what that means. <coughs> Please excuse my voice, guys. I've been going massively hard on voice stuff because I'm leaving for two weeks and I'm trying to get everything done. So please, please excuse me. It hasn't been a good time for my voice at all. Uh, does this mean you admit to wishing the defendant harm? Well, like the bat is out of the bag now. <laughs> that mistake of mine was a work of art. Thanks to my goof, poor little Trucy had to do all that hard physical labor. When you say hard physical labor, what are you referring to? What does she mean? Because of Mr. Hat's new position, Trucy had to move both those huge stage lifts. Wait a minute. Wait, how did she know that? Wait, am I stupid? Wasn't she on stage during that? How did she know? Wait, hang on. Don't we have a thing that... Wait a minute now. Thank God I'm remembering this. And the only reason I am is because I'm playing these back to back. Didn't Trucy have a thing that said that nobody knew that? Wait, am I stupid? Trucy had to move it out of the way since it was already up. Didn't... Am I stupid? No, maybe we don't have anything. Maybe I Am I just dumb? Yeah, no. Trucy's liability. Trucy moved the stage lifts to cover for Bonnie's mistake. She told no one about this. Bonnie was on the stage. How did she even know? Uh-oh, I bet that's what we have to get her on. But how? Aren't we still in the mood matrix though? Or are we, maybe we're not. That's strange. Oh, Apollo, you got it, didn't you? Athena, could you please add that last statement to Bonnie's testimony? All right, I'll update the mood matrix with the new info. 
All right. <clears throat> oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Huh? Hey, Apollo. Now there's a new inconsistency in the testimony. Yeah, there sure is, though. Yeah, she finally slipped up. What do I need to do now? Well, from this point onward, you just do what you do best. Find the contradiction in the testimony and present evidence to refute it. You got it. All right, I got you now, Bonnie de Femme. Let's frickin' go. It's gotta be that, then. I guess Trucy's the one who killed Miss... Wait, where's the moods? They're just gone? Oh, they just might be gone. She might be hiding everything, right? Even she could move the body with that lift. Right, this is all the same. But there's no moods anymore. Okay, I didn't expect that. I was on stage at the time, but that terrible... Yeah, look, we can't even perceive a mood anymore. They're just gone. So maybe we have to treat this just like regular testimony? And use the present button. That's still there. So the... Okay, this is the update here. <coughs> Sorry. You know what? Serves her right. Well, that's probably not it, is it? Thanks to that, she ended up having to move the stage. This must be it. So we either present the stage lift itself or probably Trucy's statement, actually, I'd say, because that proves in it that she told no one about it. And if she was on the stage, how did she know? Oh, girl. Oh, I got you now. Don't even start with me. Why the heck you lying? But how did she know? Unless, <clears throat> unless she planned for that to happen, which is obviously what it is. That doesn't make sense. What? So you think I'm crazy now? Um, <clears throat> a little. Again, I'm not hating on it. No, that's not the point I was trying to make. But I didn't hear you, like, denying it. Girl, please. <laughs> Miss Defam, allow me to repeat your statement. Thanks to that, she ended up having to move the stage lifts. <laughs> that's right, and I still say that that's just what she deserved. But how did you know? How did you know that Miss Wright moved the stage lifts? Oh shit, here we fucking go though. Huh? According to her own statement, she didn't tell anyone that she'd done so. What? How did you know that, girl? How could you have possibly known what she had done unless you saw her? How could she have seen her though? We literally have footage where she's on stage the whole time. Tell me that isn't someone like standing in for her or something. You know, how could that be? It looked just like her. You saw Miss Wright moving the lifts in the understage passage, didn't you? Shoot, I thought it was gonna be that she set it up. How could she have been down there though? Oh, here come the moods, they're back. Wait, she was down there? How does that make any sense though? Wasn't she on stage this entire moment? Huh? No, that's it. Okay, that's done. Bye-bye. Girl, what do you have to say for yourself? You did it, Apollo. Noise levels are at zero percent. But Mr. Justice, wouldn't that mean... Yes, Your Honor. Miss Defam herself was under the stage where the victim was killed. How? Am I, not, am I overlooking something? Apollo seems to have it figured out, though. And I hardly need to tell the court what that means. <laughs> You are one artful liar, Miss Defem, and one spectacular suspect. She is at that. I'll give her that. Wait, I, I, am I dumb? What is, guys, what does this mean? Am I stupid? Sometimes I just don't get it, and I let the game fucking tell me. I just guess. <laughs> Why, you shiny red lobster boy. You're saying that I killed Mysterious? I'm saying that it's a possibility. What's more... I say that you had solid motive to frame my client for the murder as well. What you got to say, pretty boy? My apologies for raining on the defense's merry revelry. But how are you raining on it? Wait, no, don't answer that. But you seem to have forgotten one very important point. What's that? What did I forget? Oh, really? The TV footage? I brought that up myself. How are we gonna explain that? How was she down there? As you can clearly see. That's her, isn't it? Wait, are we stupid? Like, is, is... Now I'm looking for any inconsistencies to say that it's not her. But that looks just like her. Mr. Fan was on the stage the whole time. 
The entire audience can bear witness to that fact, including you. That is true, though. Oh, yeah. What does it mean? You have just taken a long and senseless journey only to return to the starting line. Listen, <laughs> that's like a metaphor for my life. The witness could not have been in the understage passage, which means... The only one left who could have killed the victim is the accused. If she wasn't down there, <clears throat> then she definitely set it up to be that way, maybe knowing that Trucy would have to move them to make that work. That could be a thing. I guess the party's over. Oh. But... Miss Defam knew something she couldn't have known until unless she was under the stage. How do you explain that, Prosecutor said, Mahdi? Yeah, how do you? <clears throat> it's quite simple. The accused must have told Miss Defem about it, but then forgot. I don't think so, no. I, mm, I don't think so, sir. <sighs> ha! Open those useless eyes of yours and take a good look at the footage. Huh? If Miss Defem really was in the understage passage, it would mean that she was on stage and understage at the same time? You mean... She was in two places at once? How's that possible? That does seem to be the only explanation that makes any sense. What, is it twins or something? Oh no, in before it is. Wait, that would be so stupid. Is it actually? It may be an explanation, but I'm not so sure about the make sense part. It doesn't make sense. Then we'll have to make it make sense. How? Is she a twin? I don't know what else to think. Could, could someone else have been costumed as purposely is that as to not even know the damn difference your honor the witness was both on stage and understage at the same time that is a defense's assertion how i must be overlooking something uh, i've heard some illogical things come out of you before but this is absurd i'm inclined to agree i'm sure you'll change your tune once you hear my reasoning your honor uh, apollo can you tell me what that is please i'm lost my gut tells me you're bluffing but i'll bite I bet you will. Very well, Mr. Justice. How do you explain how the witness was in two places at once? Huh? She teleported. <laughs> I don't think that's it. The Bonnie on stage was fake. It's one of these two. How were there two? Think about it. What do we have that would prove any of those two last ones? Stage diagram, the show's script. Is there anything in here? Bonnie's teleportation trick and Trucy's escape. She does teleport in the trick, which might have something to do with it, but I don't. Mm. She does do a teleportation trick. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure. Fingerprinting results. The fingerprints on there are hers. Wait, we also have the unknowns. So it's either she was a fake and there is a stand-in for her that would make the unknown prince. But there being two Bonnies would also make the unknown prince? <gasps> Wait a minute, think about something. Hang on, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. When we were doing the fingerprints, didn't Emma specifically say that even twins don't have the same fingerprint? Is that why she said it? You know, this game is always giving you weird, subtle clues into everything. And now we have Bonnie's prince, unknown prince, and there's someone that looks just like Bonnie on stage. Fuck me. It's still either one of these two, but they looked so similar that the fact that Emma said the twin line, and she did say that, I remember when we were discussing the fingerprint results. Oh my God. I'm going with it. And, and worst case scenario, if it's not that and I'm wrong, I, it's just, it's the bottom one. Which is still on the same path. There were two? God, this is like Five Nights at Freddy's. There was regular Bonnie, Rockstar Bonnie, and Withered Bonnie. <laughs> Which one was it? There were two Bonnies, Your Honor. Everyone loves Bonnie. If that were the case, it would all make sense, wouldn't it? Is she a twin? She must be. I mean, that would also point to maybe having the two personalities. Like, maybe they have to interchange or something. That's what I'm thinking. There were... Two of them? I suspected you had a few screws loose, but now I see some are missing altogether. Do not talk about my screws in front of me. <laughs> you, you'd like to know. Is there a toolkit in this courtroom, Your Honor? 
The only tool I see is you. I suppose two, no, three screws to the head should write in his future brain. Sir, are you offering me something? <laughs> I'll take it, even though you're annoying. Oh, uh, very well, Bailiff, could you? <laughs> no, wait, please listen to my argument. Boy, we've got to sell this. Very well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to at least give it a listen. As was argued earlier, Miss Defem is shown in the footage the whole time. But, at the same time, she was also watching Miss Wright in the understage passage. The only possible explanation is that there are two Bonnies. Uh, that almost sounds like it makes sense. What do you think, Prosecutor Sudmati? Oh, I can't, can't wait for this. <laughs> He's got even nothing to say. This humble servant of the Holy Mother is of the opinion that we should lose no time in replacing the defense's many lost screws. You can start right now, handsome. <laughs> Apollo had nothing. But Apollo, it goes against reality itself to say that one person is actually two. What about the fingerprints, though? Is there a way we can show that? We don't have to be bound by reality. After all, we're talking about magic. So, if the Bonnie de Femme in the footage is the real one, then the Bonnie here on the witness stand, the one who must have been under stage, this Bonnie is our second Bonnie. Maybe that's why she turned into the crazy bat lady? Maybe both of them aren't exact. Maybe one is sweet and one is not? I guess so. She is? Say we call the one in front of us Bonnie too. No, just call her Withered Bonnie. I believe I have just the piece of evidence to prove that a Miss Bonnie too exists. Oh? Then please submit your evidence, Mr. Justice. The fingerprints. It has to be. What proves the existence of a Bonnie number two? It's gotta be the fingerprint results. Oh, shit, guys. It's coming together. What's this? During our investigation, we found a set of unknown fingerprints on the coffin on the stage. These prints were most likely left during the course of the show. But they didn't match the prints of any of the people involved in the case. An unknown third party's fingerprints? You didn't know? Oh, hell yeah! Here we go! I was not told of this. Too bad, so sad, eh? <laughs> you couldn't uh, foresee that one coming. Emma must have kept it from him. Good job, Emma, my girl. So the question is, who could these prints possibly belong to? They're yours, aren't they, darling? Miss Defemme, or should I say, Withered Bonnie. These are your fingerprints, aren't they? Oh, there goes her, oh, her whole bra, her umbrella, everything gone. No, don't throw that shit at me. Ooh, he, ooh, he's mad though. Look, girl, you're hot too when you're mad. I ain't mad at it. Go ahead. I do like making you angry though, holy shit. Can't we just agree? Enough of this foolishness. One person could not possibly be two. Those fingerprints could have been left not only during the show, but at any time. Ooh, you're losing your monk composure. I was waiting for this to happen. I like it. Let's go. It's not like you to lose your cool like that, Prosecutor Sadmati. You better pull it together, boy. Oh, he is angry. And I'm sure you know that. Exactly when the fingerprints were made is not the main issue. What do you mean by that, Mr. Justice? The issue who do these unknown prints belong to? They're certainly not Bonnie de Femmes. But what if they belong to the person standing right in front of us? Uh, oh, you mean Bonnie number two is the second Bonnie? Uh, yes, <laughs> that's what it means, sir. Oh shit, well, finally catching up. Is that what you're implying? It is what I'm implying. It is preposterous to suggest that those prints belong to the witness. I say they must belong to some other unknown individual. Like who? Prosecutor Sadmati, can you really look at her and still say that? She does seem different, like way different. <clears throat> Ew, what are you looking at? Take a picture, it'll last longer. How could this be? Boy, you got fleeced. If we check her prints, I'm sure they'll match the unknown set. Let's do it. Let's go. Emma, let's go. Well, Bonnie, the prints that don't belong to the real you belong to you, don't they? 
Bonnie number two. <sighs> oh, shit. Witness? Is what the defense has said true? Girl. <laughs> Fine. I admit it. The fingerprints are mine. Oh, shit. Just like that? Oh, crap. Then does that mean you aren't Bonnie de Femme? What? Oh, ridiculous. Ooh, girl, you clutch those beads. <laughs> you guys know what I thought. You can say it in the comments. All right. Oh, shit. Rabble, here we go. Mmm, it's turning around, guys. Are there really two Bonnies? There are. They must be twins or sisters or something. No, there's only one Bonnie. That's because... <laughs> I'm Betty. Betty de Femme. She's so cute. I do like this evil one a little bit. I really do like this. What? Ladies and gentlemen of the court, it's time for a wondrous magic show. Gasp in amazement as this lagomorphing illusionist performs her teleportation magic. Watch closely. It's showtime. Is she gonna, is she gonna poof and have the real one come back? Oh. Bonk? Poof? What's happening? Bonk? Oh God, the lights went out. Hello? Oh, she's so cute! Look at- Oh, she's right in front of Athena. <laughs> Athena got Mike Wazowski. <laughs> What's happening? She is so cute! These animations are so good! Stop! I love this. I like her. There they are! Good and evil! Look at that. Amazing. I do like that. That would make a very good show, of course. What an amazing trick. The witness has suddenly split into two people. Hang on. Was Bonnie's ear always flopped over? Was that the tell that we that I didn't notice? Oh, shoot. I'll have to go back. Was it always like that and that was the tell? Other than, you know, the hair changing, but it didn't change before. Oh no, I must have missed it. Damn it, you really gotta pay attention to everything. It's not a trick. No gimmick to it either. We're simply twins. What? They are so cute. So that's how the teleportation trick works. Ever since our debut, I've had to hide or pretend I'm Bonnie. I'll cue and swing, goody goody. I can't tell you how stressful it's been. Why did they hide it though? Couldn't that have been an act? What's wrong with it? Am I stupid? I feel like that would suck. I don't have to hide anymore. That's right, our days of sneaking around are finally over. I think you two should sell it like this. Well, I mean, too bad you're going to jail, but like if you hadn't, you could have had something here. Your cover is blown, but they actually seem pretty happy about it. Well, it must have been stressful to hide all that. Why did they do it, though, I wonder? So, which one of you is the nice Bonnie de Femme we met in the dressing room? That's the one with the floppy ear. That would be me. And the sharp-tongued Bonnie we saw with the ratings, Raja, understate. That's the Batgirl. You know, it, first of all, now they had, they had different parasols. It's easy to tell. Hey, who do you call it sharp-tongued? All starting to make sense now. Fingerprinting results are updated okay. In addition to prints from the victim and Bonnie, Betty DeFemme's fingerprints were found on the top. Well, this is starting to make some sense now, a little bit, but why did they do it? Why did they cut? First of all, why did they have to cover up that act? And second, why are they so mad at Trucy? So, Mr. Justice, this changes the facts of the case rather dramatically, doesn't it? It sure does. Well, it changes almost everything. Now we have to figure out the real deal of what happened. It certainly does. During the show, it was Bonnie who was on stage the whole time. So Bonnie couldn't have committed the crime. Okay. But Betty, on the other hand, who was under stage, did have the opportunity. So it's possible now that Betty's the one that hates Trucy, and maybe Bonnie actually doesn't. Maybe she is a big fan. Let's see how this unfolds. All right, this is good. Oh, your underwear is ready to snap and I'm here for it. Listen, you are so beautiful and I will keep looking at you, but I am glad that I'm getting you. Holy crap. <sighs> oh, don't be mad now, sir. I mean, do, because I you look really hot when you're angry and I'm okay with this. I like the twins. Well, so now we have two suspects. Wait just a minute, lobster boy. I didn't do it. 
That's right, Betty might have a foul mouth, but she'd never kill anybody. What? Wait, seriously? Hey, who's got a foul mouth here? Oh, um... <clears throat> well, like, speak up, huh? Wait, don't tell me that the, the crazy one is really the good one. Oh, that, <laughs> what a twist. Please save your sibling squabbling for later. Whoa, I almost read that wrong. Are you bullying her? Oh, geez, this is so cute. Betty, you must have been in the understage passage during the show. Otherwise, you wouldn't have known about the stage lifts being moved. So what exactly were you doing down there? Fine. Uh, I'll testify. Anything to get you off my back. Prosecutor Sadmati, Betty Defam is ready to testify. What do you say? What does he say? Is he okay? Betty, you lied to this humble servant of the Holy Mother. Uh-oh. Hey, like, what else could I do? I couldn't blow our cover and ruin our magic act. <laughs> Besides, I am going to go to your twilight hell or whatever for being a liar. You will indeed. However, it won't be after your death. Rather... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Girl, look out! I shall give you a taste of your punishment on this mortal coil. In interrogation hell. Oh, shit, that sounds great. Wait, <laughs> no, is it just me? Now then, Betty Defam, please explain to this court what exactly you were doing under the stage. Okay, let's go for this. Oh, my voice is rough today, guys. I'm struggling. So if this is a little shorter than normal, I'm sorry, but I am at least going to get through the testimony and see what happens. All right, what happened under stage? Like, it's true. I had business in the understage passage because of the upcoming trick. Right, that's probably how they do their teleportation magic. One disappears in smoke, the other one pops up somewhere else in time. That makes sense. It was the fire trick, right? The one Mysterious was supposed to do. Yeah, like, that's right. It's a very dangerous trick, so I, like, had to make sure we were prepared for it. It was in the script, and I really wanted to see it, but I couldn't because of the accident. Shut up! You're gonna give it away! Anyway, I was real busy. Yeah, way too busy to have the chance to kill Mysterious. Wait, okay, so that was like a double test. Okay, I've gotta pay attention to who says who, probably. That was a little bit weird. Well, that was certainly different. Oh, this might be hard to do because like both of them are talking. <laughs> How's that for a flawless testimony and alibi? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I love this. Oh, she's behind her. That's so cute. This is really well thought out. This is- oh my god, she's holding her up by the butt! That must be so difficult! Our magic is real. It's not a trick or a gimmick. I fucking love them. I, I don't care if they're bad. You guys know me. Listen, I have loved many an evil person in, in these games. Oh my, she's floating. No, I- she's holding her up. It's clear to see, sir. Oh, your honor. Just grabbed her by the butt cheeks. Look at that. You can see she's being held up from below. You were supposed to pretend you didn't see it. It's a little something called etiquette. But I can't help it. Whenever I see a contradiction or inconsistency, I have to point it out. That's true. Right, okay. No, then the defense may begin its cross-examination. I'm worried about this. Uh, this is probably... Oh, shit. This is probably going to take a minute, isn't it? I wonder, I wonder when we'll have a, a break if there even is one. There's got to be one soon, surely. I'll try to, I'll try to hold out. But if I have to stop in a weird point, I'm sorry. My voice is really struggling right now. What happened under stage? Okay, it just, it hurts. <laughs> sorry. It's like true. I had business in the understage passage because of the upcoming trick. All right. Hold it. Let me just press everything. If you were in the understage passage, which need I remind you, was the crime scene, then you most certainly should be counted as potential suspect. But like, I don't have any motive to kill Mysterious. How do we know that though? But you, by your own admission, hate Miss Wright. When she was arrested as a suspect, you said it was what she deserved. Objection. What are you objecting about? That happened. So you believe the witness killed a man simply due to her dislike of Trucy Wright? <clears throat> I mean, it's better than nothing. You can sigh all you want, handsome. As a motive, is that not improbable at best? 
But what if her hatred caused her to bear a strong sense of malice against my client? Look, Trissy just made me mad, that's all? I mean, even though she's younger than me, she's got so much skill and popularity. And she's cute, besides. Ugh, she makes me so mad. I wish she would drop dead. Betty, don't talk like that. Shut your trap. So, was it just simple jealousy? Say, Betty, that next trick... Oh, shit, it's her. I can't say this talking. Say, Betty, that next trick you were getting ready for. Right, the other one, the teleportation and then the fire trick. It was the fire trick the one that Mysterious was supposed to do. Hold it. Tell me more about that since we didn't get to see it. Uh, Bonnie? We're trying to get Betty's testimony right now, so... Oh, right, I'm sorry. You can step down if you'd like. Well, I'm worried about Betty, though. She can lose her temper and say awful things sometimes. Hey, what are you, my mother? Don't forget, I'm the older sister, you got that? Uh, yes, I got it. Guess I'd worry about Mount Betty constantly blowing her top if I was Mount Bonnie too. Whoa, I didn't say Mount, I said Mount twice. That's funny. <laughs> there wasn't a euphemism in that or anything. So, Betty, you were down under stage getting ready for the fire trick, were you? What does that mean, though? That's right, it's a very dangerous trick. I had to make sure we were prepared for it. Prepared for it? Wait a minute, do we have something against that? Hang on, just let me read. I don't remember what we even have anymore. What does... Oh. <clears throat> the bucket to be used in case of fire. It was empty, but does... So wait, is it... Hang on. I had to make sure we were prepared for it. Was she the one in charge of preparing for the fire trick? So if she was, then maybe this has something to do with it because this wasn't used. I'm going for it. Objection! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, girl. I hate to break this to you, Betty, but there's a big flaw in your testimony. As big as the one in that floating trick you did earlier. Ooh, like harsh words. Well, let me tell you something, forehead boy. No one has ever figured out how we do our teleportation trick. Uh, I kind of, I think we kind of figured it out already, didn't we? No one except me, you mean? Well, oh, we have an even better trick up our sleeve. Huh? We do? I told you to keep it zipped. No, no, don't fight, you two. Mr. Justice, what's this about a flaw in the testimony? What do we have? The script has this to say about the fire trick. This will be dangerous. Make sure the fire bucket is ready. Oh, I wonder if I could have put the script there as well. Probably, right? However, we found the fire bucket lying empty backstage, except for the layer of dust. Uh, I... Uh, ouch! You didn't even attempt to get ready for the next trick, did you? Y you got me! She was down there spying. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, all right. Betty Defam, you will explain yourself. Ugh. Like, there's like nothing to explain. Come on, Betty, we can't hide it any longer. We might as well tell them. Shut up! You can barely take care of yourself. Don't try to tell me what to do. Well, if neither of you will explain, I guess I'll have to. The reason Betty didn't prepare for the fire trick is because she is afraid of fire, knew the show wouldn't go on with slacking off. It has to be this one. Think about it now. We have, we don't really have evidence that she knew the show wouldn't go on, do we? But everything in place kind of points to this because if she was down there and she, and, and someone put Mr. Hat in the wrong place, someone knew there might've been a murder because it was planned probably by one of these girls. They knew that it wouldn't go so they didn't have to bother with it, right? Because they knew. They were planning it the whole time. I'm gonna pick that. That seems to make the most sense. You didn't prepare for the fire trick because you knew, didn't you? You knew that the body would be found and the show would then be canceled. Uh. What about that though? But we don't, we don't have proof of that, do we? I don't know. Don't be ridiculous, you insignificant speck of a man. Oh shit, ow. I'm gonna yank those lame bangs of yours off. Is that what you want, huh? Objection. Girl, don't don't threaten me. Whatever, they can grow back. 
<laughs> Love Apollo. Now stop stalling and tell us the truth already. <sighs> I can't reveal my secrets. I'm a magician. What now, darling? You have been chasing the shadow of an illusory culprit, Defense. And having chanced upon a convenient target, you have let yourself get carried away. Have I now? I don't think so. Exactly. Where's your proof, huh? And yet, I can see that the witness's taste for false words has also been proven. So he knows that she's a liar, too. I advise you to confine your deceitful trickery to your magic act, witness. Oh, shit. <laughs> deceitful trickery? What's wrong, Athena? As your court-appointed therapist, I'd like to add something here, Betty. You finally let yourself be who you really are. But if you continue to hide behind lies, you'll just be imprisoning your heart all over again. Ooh, Athena, stick it with her. Yes. Huh. But all these questions mean you're trying to put me in prison for real. So I'll be behind bars either way. Does that mean that you're admitting your guilt? Of course not. I can't believe you people. Every one of you thinks I did something, didn't you? Lobster boy, cue ball geezer, head case brat, Cerebus monk. Oh shit, girl. Oh, she's got everyone's number. I, you know what? I'm not even going to disagree with it. Holy crap, savage. Oh shit, she just insulted everybody. Cue ball geezer? Boy, if I could change my Twitter name easily right now without Twitter, you know, pitching a bitch about verification, I would change my name to Cue Ball Geezer in a second. Headcase brat? Really? <laughs> Betty, calm down. Come on now. Deep breaths, deep breaths. <sighs> Look, I'm not the murderer, I tell you. Then how did you know the show would be called off before the fire trick? I'm starting to wonder. I, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm starting to wonder if they were put up to it by you-know-who. It, it, it's starting to... Isn't it starting to sway that way? I just don't know with these two. I told you. We can't reveal our secret. We're, like, under contract... Oh. Oh, no. I think I'm right. Oh, he must have something on them. I I'm, I'm real. Listen, I know that I was sus about them in the beginning, and once, once the real thing came out, I said, "Ooh, this bitch is bad." But listen, this sometimes happens. They turn around sometimes. Oh no, I'm starting to think. Oh, I'm starting to think. You know what? We're gonna stop it here. Uh, my voice is really struggling, but also, I think this is a good place to stop because I think this is gonna open up something big. And we're about to find out what it is, hopefully, in the next episode. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I'm really sorry for my voice. I hope it didn't take too much away. I'll see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo!